Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, today, I just wanted to give a little update on what I'm going to be doing to the cove. I think it's time to ask a little more out of the big girl. A little more power um, is the quest. So I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on some of the stuff that I'm going to start addressing with the Cove. Uh, but first and foremost, anybody who's a Cove fan has probably been watching the Dakar Rally and Mason unfortunately has had to bow out due to a battery that essentially took a dump on him. And it's really unfortunate, but the, the young kid is an inspiration to a lot of people about true grit and so just want to give a big shout out to him and his whole family on the good job that they did in uh, the 2024 Dakar rally and I know that with some more time on the bike uh, some actual R&D on his part I know he could be super successful in the future and I wouldn't see any different so as long as he doesn't get picked up by some other team and he truly has an interest in the cove to to try to produce it uh, into a better product i think uh, we're going to see some exciting things in the future with him so anyways i uh, do want to give a shout out to pulse adv they sent me this awesome trail tech voyager pro and Man, I've been running the Voyager Pros for about six years now, and I have had them on all of my bikes. So I'll have the mounts on all of them, and then I'll have, I've had like two of these different dashes and just switched them from bike to bike. And these are a treasure chest of routes and waypoints and stuff. So these become something that you're investing in for future riding and, you know, tracks that I could possibly be passing down to my boys and be, uh, you know, making different cool routes in the future to uh, rerun. So anyways, big shout out to Pulse ADV for choosing me as their winner of the Voyager Pro. So I'm gonna put that to good use here in the future. Um, so. Back to the, the bike at hand. One, it is choked up. And with this stock exhaust, this piece right here weighs, well, I don't even know, but it's, it's heavy. And uh, the catalytic converter is in this portion right here. And it is essentially like a mesh screen that extends the, the length of this part right here so between the catalytic converter and this gigantic heavy exhaust I want to try to uh, eliminate those so what I'm doing is just taking a basically a can for a like a KTM 450 and I am going to have a local muffler shop weld me a mid pipe for that i'm gonna harvest probably the upper section right before the catalytic converter and then just have them weld in a little elbow right here so that i have a straight through fmf exhaust so that's going to be a reduction in weight it's going to be more free flowing that's going to require setting my ecu to Cove Moto USA. And so that is happening early next week. I'm going to have them put in the tune that they came up with for the straight through race exhaust and see how that works out. But there is this little dark magic that. Cove Moto USA has developed, and specifically, I believe, Joe Penner, I think is his last name. So they have a adjustable 
timing key. And essentially what it is is just a little sliver of metal. So hopefully that doesn't just go flying here because I wanted to pull it out with you so we could check it out together. A couple more things in there. It's kind of hard to do now. I always see how people on the internet, why they always look retarded trying to get stuff out of boxes. I'm sorry to use that word retarded, but a little uncoordinated. Should have done this beforehand, but I wanted to do it with you guys. So Cove Moto USA has come up with a little timing key that goes in the flywheel. And it's supposed to advance the timing about plus six degrees. I'm just ripping into his stuff, not even reading what his sticker says. But there's the the dark magic right there. <laughs> and, you know, they're not asking an astronomical amount for this. This is, uh, I believe, $28. And that is going to advance the timing from a retarded 4, I believe, to a plus 6 degrees. And it is supposed to liven up the throttle response tremendously. So let's let's not lose that guy. Let's put it up there. And let's see what this is. This is who who's making it? What's his name? Zong Shen. No, that can't be. Here it is. <laughs> Henner Motorsports Performance Suspension. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you, Joe. I'll be uh, making a little video, so I'm not even gonna waste your time, but this is the the uh, flywheel, flywheel puller. And then a, a new gasket in case I ruin the old one. So those are going on. And we're gonna see if this really does liven up. So what do you guys think? Should I install the exhaust? and do the timing key at one time, or should I do them independently so that we can see, um, you know, the, the, the butt dyno results. I'm not gonna take this to a dyno, or guys, you know. I don't need to take it to a dyno, so it's not realistic. I want to be able to loft that front tire a little easier. That is my goal. Uh, yes, you can clutch it up all day long. You can rev, the piss out of this thing and get good power out of it uh, but I still just want that like down low grunt little snap of the throttle to, to loft the front tire kind of power and I'm hoping to get that out of these mods if not you know what I am happy with the power so I'm not going to be super disappointed if that's not the result uh, I'm not holding out too much expectation for these mods but uh, if it is a product of these simple mods, then awesome. And then we can start talking about the cove durability if we start modifying these things. Um, the other, I think, three Gen 1 coves that are in the Dakar right now are still in the race. And so that goes to show the durability of those. But we do have to be realistic and know that Mason Klein is on another level and a completely untested Gen 2 and him riding it is a completely different story. Um, he's, he's putting it to an absolute different level of testing and hopefully that development makes it its way down to the product or the... Uh, the consumer market so uh moving on to the third tire rear tire of the cove and we're gonna go from the the tux d sport which is starting to show a little bit of fatigue to it some of the knobs are starting to get chunked there's a few that are 
about half torn off. There's a couple that are about half torn off. Um, so, yeah, I could run it a little further, but I'd like to try something else out. Um, even more aggressive dirt tire and the IRC M5B Evo. Is that what it's called? M5B Evo. Yeah, but look at the lugs on that thing. I've run these on different tires. Slavin's Racing and a couple other people really recommend these for dual sport purposes and <clears throat> for it being a soft terrain tire, it holds up pretty good for dual sport purposes. So I'm gonna throw that on there and yeah. So I got for you guys right now. If uh, you wanna see these uh, results and stuff, think about subscribing and um, drop any comments down below. I answer pretty much any question people have and yeah thanks for watching guys peace